Hey guys. Hi, how are you? Okay, how are you? Good, thank you. Congratulations on your nomination for Best Actor in Crown and Anchor. What would you say was the most challenging aspect in portraying your character, James Downey? Uh, James is tough because he hides everything from everybody. He's not comfortable with emotion. And I found out very quickly that doing less in a scene is way harder than doing more. So having all those emotions for real, but trying to bury them, it's a tough gig. Um, it's also a very physical role. I had to beat up some people in the movie. One of them is my real life best friend. That was kind of stressful. Um, and he also, when he starts to feel like, like the emotion is coming to the surface, he beats it back down on himself. So it was a lot of self-mutilation that got a little out of control on set. So a couple of lumps and bruises that were self-inflicted. What did you do to prepare for this role? Um, he's a straight edge character. He comes from an abusive uh, uh, father figure that he had to grow up with who's a, an alcoholic and an addict. So he's made a decision in his life that he's gonna abstain from everything. He's perfectly straight edge. And he's a part of uh, the straight edge movement that's really popular in, in punk rock music, the hardcore straight edge scene. So I was listening to a lot of really heavy music and I didn't drink any alcohol or take any medication or do anything for a couple of months leading up to the role. And I was working out like a maniac because I knew that's what he would he would do. Um, and so I started training with a trainer down in LA who trains UFC fighters. And he got me doing all kinds of crazy like handstand push-ups. And, and I got the best shape of my life for the role. I put a lot of work into it. Now, you're originally from St. John's, Newfoundland, where, there's, where this story is set. What was it like going back home to film? That was really special. When I was growing up there, there was nothing filmed there. Like, Republic of Doyle hadn't happened. There was not really any films being shot there. There was no gear or crew if you wanted to hire them. So to leave home, I left, I left home uh, with a band and toured around for a few years, ended up getting into acting because of my younger brother, Andrew, who wrote and directed the film. We, all, all this stuff had blown up in Newfoundland with, with series being filmed there, and now there's the infrastructure for renting gear, uh, uh, boring crew members, stuff like that. So it was, a, it was a whole new thing that didn't exist when I lived there. So to go home, it was like a, a real, real sense of accomplishment because that wasn't something I ever pictured myself being able to do. So I had to go away to find it, but then to come home to film it was a victory. Now you mentioned your brother Andrew. What was it like working with him? Any sibling rivalry? No, I mean, there's, I have four brothers, so there's five boys in my family all together. Uh, we get along surprisingly well. It was, uh, you know, just watching a lot of movies, uh, really into music growing up. Um, Andrew is what inspired me to start acting, and he was always the writer and, and inspired to be a director. So we'd been ready for that moment to come, you know? We honestly didn't realize it was gonna, gonna come to us this quickly. Um, but we had done a lot of short films together, and we worked on the script for a really long time. It was great to have that comfort with a director where I can say anything and pick his brain about anything and, and don't feel like I'm overstepping, and we could really have, you know, you know experiment on set and, and play around with it to, to dig in. So, yeah, I wish I had a story about some, you know, crazy stuff, but we get along really well. Well, that, that's good. We, we want that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thank you so much. Congratulations, and good luck tonight. I appreciate it. Nice Thank to meet you guys. Thanks to meet you. Okay, bye. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out more interviews from the CSA red carpet right over there.